Joanna Simpson here at Quant Minds International in London. Joining me now is Klaus Merman, Product Solutions Specialist at Beacon Platform. Thank you very much for joining me today. <laughs> and just tell me, uh, please start by giving me an overview of Beacon Platform. Right, okay, so, so Beacon, the legacy of Beacon is uh, our, we have two co-founders and they started work at Goldman Sachs in the mid-90s. They worked on SecDB, which every quant is going to be familiar with. And they went on to JP Morgan and they built a platform called Athena. Uh, and then one of them again went on to Bank of America, Merrill Lynch, and built Quartz. And then they got together again in 2014 and said, hey, let's set up a, our own company and, and, and rebuild that, that kind of trading and risk uh, management solution that they built across those investment banks. And now they built it and we sell it as a commercial platform. And what makes Beacon special for quants in the trading and risk management space? Well, it really is carrying on that legacy of what you know they did at Goldman's and JP Morgan, right? So, the it, it means it's, it's it's basically a development platform for quants, right? And so we speed up the whole new product lifecycle development. So it means that quants can develop on the cloud, and they can build uh, and review their code in a controlled environment. They can they can do development on you know production data. And uh, it, it really speeds up that whole development lifecycle for a quant to get their uh, you know, models into production or uh, even to the web apps in front of traders. And how can quants integrate their existing models into Beacon? So, so I mean, that's one of the, we get asked that quite a lot in the sense that, you know, the, the quants already have their models that they've written, uh, but they want to bring them and, and, and deploy them into a production platform. And the way that Beacon works is basically a big, uh, sort of Python-based dependency graph, but that means that you can swap out anything from uh, market data all the way through to the kind of pricing libraries, right? So if you have your own pricing library, you can effectively override the, the one that we supply. Uh, I mean, obviously, we give everyone access to all of our source code, so that means it's really easy to integrate anything. And, and we support, you know, Python models, but also C++, C Sharp, Rust, and, and, and various other languages, right? So it's really easy to bring those on board and integrate them into Beacon. And would you tell me a little bit about stress testing, back testing, or other types of scenarios? Yeah, so I, because everything in Beacon runs on a big dependency graph, you can swap out anything in there. So we can easily run risk reports uh, with multiple different market data scenarios. So um, it, we can literally just swap them out so um, you know you'll have your your standard um, set of market data, then you'll have a whole load of different scenarios that you've created for running stress testing, and then we have a, a kind of obviously elastic compute infrastructure on the cloud uh, where you can run these scenarios uh, in a separate compute pool to your existing whatever you're running in production, whether it's intraday uh, pricing and risk. Um, so it means you can run scenarios outside of that compute. And the nice thing about Beacon is that you can obviously scale up that compute for running the scenarios and then it will shut it all down again for you automatically. So you're only like proper fully cloud native application where you're only paying for what you actually use. Um, back testing as well. I mean, so we, we support back testing because we have this notion of time travel on our dependency graph, which means you can easily travel backwards and forwards in time. You can rerun risk reports as of a certain date with the actual code the, the model that was in production as of that date, which is great for sort of regulatory reporting and audit and, and control and things like that. And how could people trial Beacon for themselves? So we have a product that we call Beacon Select, which is effectively a, uh, a simple Beacon environment that we can deploy. And we have this notion of accelerators, which are designed for different uh, use cases. So we, we have one maybe for commodities, for equity derivatives, uh, so the simple FX and rates one, and, it, and effectively we'll deploy a, a simple standalone beacon domain for you that you can log into, and it has like limited compute, some standard market data out of the box, and risk reports pre-configured, so that you can basically go in as a trial and, and, and play around for three months. Sounds very interesting. Klaus Merman, thank you very much for your time. Yeah, great, thank you.